25. If Earth and its atmosphere were constantly spinning eastwards over a thousand miles per hour, then the average commercial airliner traveling 500 miles per hour should never be able to reach its eastward destinations before they come speeding up from behind. Likewise, westward destinations should be arrived at thrice the speed, but this is not the case. 26. Quoting Heaven and Earth by Gabrielle Henriette, If flying had been invented at the time of Copernicus, there is no doubt that he would have soon realized that his contention regarding the rotation of the Earth was wrong, on account of the relation existing between the speed of an aircraft and that of the Earth's rotation. If the Earth rotates, as it is said, at a thousand miles an hour, and a plane flies in the same direction at only 500 miles, it is obvious that its place of destination will be farther removed every minute. On the other hand, if flying took place in the opposite direction to that of the rotation, a distance of 1,500 miles would be covered in one hour instead of 500, since the speed of the rotation is to be added to that of the plane. It could also be pointed out that such a flying speed of 1,000 miles an hour, which is supposed to be that of the Earth's rotation, has recently been achieved so that an aircraft flying at this rate in the same direction as that of the rotation could not cover any ground at all. It would remain suspended in midair over the spot from which it took off, since both speeds are equal. 27. If Earth and its atmosphere were constantly spinning eastwards over a thousand miles per hour, landing airplanes on such fast-moving runways, which face all manner of directions, north, south, east, west, and otherwise, would be practically impossible. Yet, in reality, such fictional concerns are completely negligible.